Hello and welcome to Auto Today. I am Anag and this is the new Altros iCNG. Now Tata Motors has given this car some unique CNG tech and a lot of features. We are going to talk about all of those and we are going to drive it and tell you all about it. But before we do that, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notified every time we go live with new automotive content. Now similar to CNG variants of other models from Tata, the Altros 2 looks the same as its ICE counterpart, which means that you get a very handsome car. To mark its by fuel powertrain, it gets an ICNG badge on the boot lid. You also get a badge on the rear door commemorating Tata's 50 lakh cars milestone. Now this is the boot of the Altros ICNG. Now unlike most CNG cars, there is actually usable boot space. That is because the base here houses twin CNG tanks, therefore reducing the size and packaging it more smartly, more compactly and making the boot space more practical. For example, I can fit this bag here quite easily, goes in sideways. Right now the boot space is at 210 litres, which is yes, smaller than the non-CNG Altros. The twin tanks come with a total capacity of 60 litres and get leak detection, thermal incident protection and a reinforced rear structure to ensure that there is no compromise on the safety of the car. The spare wheel has been placed below the boot. Now this is the fuel filler of the car. You have the petrol filler and the CNG filler and this here is a micro switch to kill off the engine. The micro switch shuts off the engine the moment the fuel filler cap is opened. Hence, ensuring safety while filling CNG in the car. Tata has loaded the Altros iCNG with a lot of features, including a sunroof which can be operated via voice commands, a wireless smartphone charger, a 7-inch infotainment system which comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It also gets automatic headlamps, rain sensing wipers, automatic climate control. The features make the Altros a very nice proposition in the segment and at par with its rivals. When driving around the Altros ICNG, the car does not feel much different, of course, driving around in petrol mode. But you can switch it into CNG mode by pressing the button here on the console. And in this mode, it produces 73.5 bhp, which is slightly less than the 88 bhp it produces in petrol mode. Now, the difference in power is not very noticeable unless you actually are at higher speeds and you need that extra grunt to gain speed or overtake something. The suspension as before is the same, it is very comfortable, it absorbs the bumps and the breakers quite easily. Now Tata says that because of the added weight of the CNG tanks at the rear, the car has a slightly improved centre of gravity. It's not very noticeable but I agree that the car does feel slightly more planted. The interesting part about the CNG tech in the Altros is that the car starts automatically in CNG mode, negating the need to start it in petrol mode and then switching to CNG mode manually. While driving, changing the mode from CNG to petrol or vice versa actually is imperceptible. There is no change in noise or vibrations with the only way to know the difference being the power delivery. I drove the Altros iCNG XZ Plus O S variant, which is priced at Rs 10.54 lakh. The range of the car starts at Rs 7.55 lakh, which means that the car is competitively priced and it is mainly the existence of the dual CNG tanks in the car which make the boot space usable and practical, which cannot be said about other CNG cars in the segment. Add to that the looks, the features the suspension, the comfort and the overall drive experience and the Altros CNG is a car that one should always consider when looking for a CNG premium hatchback. 